What's this? A demon! The demon we heard about? Sounds like it's having fun. Then we'll use this distraction. Wow, look outside! It's the ocean! This was a place of worship for Amenoch, the Water Empyrean. The ancients built this sanctuary underwater for the same reason that Eumacia's temples were built underground. But building this underwater couldn't have been easy. Aye. With the Earth Temples, all they had to do was keep digging. Here, they had water to contend with. How did they do it? You can't split the sea like you can a log. They started by stacking giant stone blocks in the shallows, creating an enclosed space. Then they drained the water and expanded the enclosure. Once they had done that enough times and secured enough dry space, they were able to dig into the sea floor. It's mind-boggling, isn't it? The humans believed that by going through such great hardships to build these temples, they could show the depth of their devotion. Additionally, current research suggests the site of this temple once sat on the seacoast. What? Are you saying I'm wrong? No, I'm only reporting what I've read in academic journals. How would coastal ruins sink into the ocean? When the Empyreans began their slumber, the land shifted, and this temple was swallowed by the sea. Scholars were able to prove that the sand and the heavy stones formed an airtight seal around the structure. Later, people carved an undersea tunnel to connect to the temple, bringing it to its current state. Now that you mention it, I think I read that book too. Revised theories on ancient architecture, right? That's the one. Have you read it, Aizen? No, I only read the first edition. The problem with the stone enclosure theory is that each time you expand the enclosure, the innermost stones have to be carried out. Once that was pointed out as being too inefficient, alternate theories were developed. The revised edition has a number of competing theories. I highly recommend reading it. Uh, I will then. So, wait, was that a complete rebuttal of Aizen's explanation? Th that was not my intention. Ah, uh, it's okay. Archaeology is a continuous process of asking new questions and making new discoveries. Prevailing theories change all the time. What's it matter anyway? Let's just get going. There's no Empyrean here, right, Aizen? If you're worried about it, why not flip that coin of his? Heads, no Empyrean. Tails, Empyrean Central. But it always comes up tails! Like I said before, these temples are nothing more than places of worship built by human hands. The current religion started when humans, fearful of natural forces, began to worship four gods they called the Empyreans. If you're concerned about whether or not one is sleeping in these ruins, just remember that their very existence is only legend. Be that as it may, Enominot certainly exists. Aye. But I've never heard a single story of anyone actually seeing an Empyrean. Enominot must be a special case, then. Must be. I suppose so. If there were four more like him, and they were all trying to stop us, we'd be sunk. I can't disagree.
we have a chance! I'm recording the video! Watch! Hey! Watch it! 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 Come on, really? Well, it wiped out the security for us, but... Well, look at that. Wolfie's got the crest of Amenoch. The same pendant worn by priestesses. Then that makes this demon... Yeah, she must be the missing mother, Mahina. Oh, my God. 